please tell me what inspired the song Remember Romeo and what message did you want the people to receive from this song? Well, what inspired Remember Romeo is that two brothers living in a yard together who was only a link is their mother, they have the same mother, they have different father. And due to a difference of opinion over a situation and offense taken and actions taken as a result of the perceived this somebody end up dead and the person who end up dead is somebody who have a mental condition, a schizophrenic person where sometimes with us, sometimes some people of else and sometimes with us, sometimes some place else, living in a dream world, living all by himself, you know. Sometimes I'm good, you know. So when I heard that one brother kill the next brother, I'm a new, the two of them, I'm a new, so the one who would die, I'm a mental problem. I feel it, you know, because I'm never after dead. Because he's not a man like that. He's a man where even if he's not going to get violent, he's not like he's a danger to society. You often provoke him or do something for him, get violent, you know. So, the reality of seeing two lives go down the drain, one man dead and him, him brother gone to prison, you know. I wanted to write a song that evoke an emotion like, wow, that's sad, you know. Unfortunate, you know. That's what I want. I wanted people to feel what I felt when I heard the news, you know. When my mother called me, I was in Portland at the time, and my mother called me because my mother used to look out for him. Because she knows him not to write it. And so sometimes he have some camera and thing when he used to go to the airport, instant camera, and take pictures and sell to people where I live and thing. So whenever him in himself realize, say, in mind, start get shaky, he know the value of him camera them. And he used to bring them, come and get them to my mother, my mother would keep them feet. He would have conscious enough to do that. And then after that, he would go off and see my walk naked, and looking at the sky, I run up on the road, I go town, you know, until them could have all him and maybe can go to Melview and give him some medication and slow him up and come back down slow and then him feel them all right, him stop to help the pill them and then him good for a year or, or two years sometime or six months sometime and then him start go again, you know. So it was something that this, the community learned, learned to live with Romeo. Romeo, although he was like that, he was part of our community, even with the mental issues. You know, he, everybody knows, say, I'm a Cynthia boy. You understand? I'm I, I Mr. I Blake Picnic. You know, him live up there, so him and him brother them, him and Froggy are, and Larry them, man. You know, we know who he is. And when him go on crazy, we know, say, I just wrote me that. You know, and I never felt like, say, he needed to die. So that's really that when we just say about a song there, you know.